time for a new series on this channel. I'm gonna call this one Mall Crawl, where I'm gonna head to the mall and try a bunch of different mall food court type of restaurants, see what's the best, see what's the worst, tell you exactly what you should be ordering. I did this at Cinnabon a couple of weeks ago. That video will be linked somewhere here. You should check it out. But now we're gonna just launch. We're just gonna go head first, which is exactly how I like to eat, just head first, into the mall snack. So today I hit up my local Annie Ann's, or I don't know, what do we call it? Auntie Ann's? Annie Ann's? I feel like I'm having some sort of medical condition happening to me right now. I've never eaten here before. So we're going big, big, big. We've had a lot of coffee. Guys, true story, I spent so much money at this place. I spent $102. What? They boxed everything in these adorable boxes. I'm just gonna blindly reach in and see what we have. They also have like seven, seven different sauces, some sauces. Okay, it smells freaking delicious. I'm very caffeinated. Ooh, look it. Mm, it's regular. Delicious, but regular. I can't, I can't take multiple bites during this episode because I will explode like that girl in Willy Wonka, the little purple blueberry girl. Speaking of, this is their frozen lemonade blueberry option. I'm gonna tell. This is that good lemonade. What's crazy is Cinnabon is right next to Auntie Anne's. They had some amazing drinks at Cinnabon and a really awesome lemonade. I don't know, I kinda like this one better. Don't tell Cinnabon, I love them too. This lemonade is sweeter. This tastes like the lemonade I made for myself as a child. <sighs> I am gonna turn into the blueberry girl. This is the strawberry version. Huh, I don't think it tastes like anything in particular except delicious. It tastes really good, it just doesn't taste like strawberry. It just tastes like sweet, sweetness, sweet drink. Blueberry is way better. All right, I'm gonna move into the lemonade. I'm doing drinks because obviously they're melting. Absolutely not. I feel like that's Amazon's truck backing into my front door, unloading all the dozens of packages I ordered that I definitely don't need. Ooh, excuse me. There's a pretzel party and I'm invited. This looks R-rated. This one makes me feel naughty somehow. Not just because I'm not in the pretzel, but tis the season, Valentine's Day's around the corner. Some people buy lingerie, I buy pretzels from the mall. <laughs> wow. Oh. That's one of the most incredible flavors of all time. Like a ranch vibe. It's so salty, it's so savory, it's so soft and buttery. I would ask for extra sprinkles of whatever this magic dust is because that is, oh, that flavor, oh my gosh. I really wanna take another bite. I'm holding, I'm just gonna do it. Screw it. I'm just gonna say that's probably the best pretzel I've ever had in my whole taste testing career. Did I wash my hands? Oh well, I had the vid like five times last year. It's like, what else is new these days? I actually, I don't, I don't wanna know the answer to that question. I have to move into, wow, mm, there's some scents. It smells like, I don't know, like the Wild West. I don't, I've, I don't really know what the Wild West smells like, but in my head it smells like a man who wears leather boots and chaps and rides horses. Very specific, a very specific descriptor, I'm aware. Not really a Western fan, you know? Get it out. Okay, this is a jalapeno option. What I like about their dough is it's a little wobbly. It's a little soft, you know what I mean? Oh, this is way too fun to eat. Good, not great. That one has a lot of potential, but we gotta dress her up in something like a nice sauce. It needs a she's all that moment where it like comes down the staircase with its dipping sauce in hand. What's next, you ask? Well, at least I hope you asked. If you're still here, I hope you asked that and I hope you've subscribed to this channel. I don't know what this one is. She looks real simple. It's so good though. This is your basic, simple pretzel. I would order this and dip it in mustard. That's my pretzel style. I do like this dough a little bit better than I think Wetzel's pretzels, maybe. It's a little sweeter. It almost has like um, a dessert vibe, which I love dessert. I mean, who doesn't? Oh, what is this? Oh, it smells. I, I, was just, I think it smells like the malt. <laughs> mm -mm. She was like, nope, this is the visual. That's what you're gonna get. Is this the sweet almond pretzel? Holy, that is incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh, I had no idea that this labyrinth of loveliness existed in the mall. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. I almost thought it was the cinnamon pretzel at first, but it didn't taste quite as powerful as cinnamon pretzels taste. This is like the perfect balance of sweet and savory, and you don't even need a dip with this. Like I'm like, oh, maybe I should dip it. I would not show that kind of disrespect for this. Oh, 
more, come on. This is the cinnamon pretzel. It probably weighs three times more than the rest of these. It's very ironic that Auntie Anne's Auntie Anne's is next to Cinnabon. They've got a cinnamon off happening and they don't even know it. I mean, it is not bad. Somebody better call Cinnabon and tell them Auntie Anne's next door is coming for them. They haven't even know, they have no idea. This is delicious. It is kind of like, almost like a churro vibe. It has that crunch on the outside, but that soft cakey texture on the inside. I do feel like Cinnabon's which churro was a little more dense. This is more fluffy. Oh my gosh, this is a box of dogs. We got dogs and it's not just my disgusting toes that look like they've gone through the garbage disposal. I mean tasty dogs. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, hot dogs, I, I don't like hot dogs. They're triggering for me. I used to eat them like a monster when I was a child. I would take the hot dog, peel the skin off and eat the whole skin off of the hot dog. And then I'd nibble on that spongy, slimy center until it was all gone. And I don't know how I didn't grow up to be someone who's in jail. This kind of feels a little Fear Factory to me. Do you guys remember that show? I can't say I didn't like it. I can understand how someone would like that. I can't. I can understand it. If you don't think about it, it's an enjoyable experience. Of all the dogs wrapped in bread with jalapenos and cheese, this one's gotta be the best one. This is just the regular dog with the, this beautiful pretzel casing. I mean, I get it, it tastes good. It has that smoked mystery meat taste. Let's move on to the regular cheese option. Pretty, as pretty as a schlongy dog can be. Mm -hmm. Again, if you like a dog, I feel like this has got these are gonna be the best ones. This is like a pizza jalapeno pizza pretzel. Like, my mind's like blown at the thought. It's gonna be hard to get everything in one bite, but I, I believe in myself. I've done harder things. This one visually is the best looking one of the bunch. I've never seen a roni I didn't like. Hmm, it's good, it's okay. Again, I've said it once before and I'll say it again. If there's ever a pizza thing in the world, nine times out of 10, it's never gonna be as good as DiGiorno, not sponsored. So the bar's really high for me. On a scale of like deliciousness, I feel like that's probably a, a four out of 10. I'm not gonna choose it. But what I am gonna choose, I'm gonna tell you just to say it. <laughs> oh, this is just the pizza without the jalapenos. Once you have jalapenos on a pizza, you can't not have jalapenos on a pizza. It's like everything tastes wrong after that. Annie Ann's has a ton of different sauces. They're kind of parcel for like $2 a piece. They also have my favorite honey mustard of all time, Ken's. I did a whole video exploring all the honey mustards. They have a cheese dip. And to taste test all the sauces, I got just some regular pretzel bites. I didn't want to taint the flavor with any other flavored thing because, you know, sometimes flavors compete and they don't get along and they don't support each other. All right, I'm gonna start with Ken's honey mustard. I already know I'm gonna love this, but on a pretzel, maybe not. I can't decide. This is literally my favorite honey mustard, but it does seem like it might be too sweet for this. Let's give it a shot. No way. Ugh, 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 ugh. Oh, it was terrible. And before I knew it was terrible, it was too late. It was already in my mouth. I had to swallow it. It was, oh. Let's try the cheese dip. I feel like cheese dips are very, very important to pretzel places. It looks a little coagulated, a little solid, you know? I kind of wanted it to be a little goopier, smushier. Oh, it's a little smushy. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. Mmm, so good. But it kind of tastes like um, cheese Whiz, which I'm not mad at. I love when I used to eat, eat about a canful. Me and my beady Wheaties and my cheese Whiz. It's really salty, which I like. Next, let's try the sweet glaze dip. Because it's it's sweet, I feel like it's probably really good on like a dessert pretzel. Ooh, kind of reminds me of like a cinnamon roll, like a Pillsbury cinnamon roll glaze. Oh, let's try. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is incredible. This tastes exactly like Dunkin' Frosting, like the frosting you dip the crackers in. Extraordinarily sweet. Not really as good on the regular pretzels, but I feel like there's gonna be a combination maybe with the cinnamon pretzel. I feel like it's gonna cause you to have to go ask for forgiveness from the Lord himself. Like give your kids that if you never want them to ever sleep again. Moving into the caramel. Ooh, okay. Gosh, this feels like you're gonna have to sit down and eat this at the food court. You're never gonna be able to like stroll through Forever 21 eating this on the go. It's just not possible. Mm -hmm. It's actually 
actually not a bad combo. It's pretty good caramel. I don't know if it's my first choice for a pretzel. I'd rather have something salty or tangy. That's why I love mustard. It's kind of like me when I play piano. I'm good, it's passable, but no one really wants to hear me play. Oh no, oh. This is a marinara sauce, a Ken's marinara sauce. This feels like it just should not be. It just should not be. To be or not to be should not be. Oh, it's actually not that bad. You know, it kind of tastes like like fast food pizza, like a pizza delivery place. Not my first option, but not as bad as I thought it would be. Moving into the hot salsa cheese dip. Now, I'm expecting a lot with this. Wow, I'm gonna have to go take a nap after this. We're just gonna dip her in. Really salty. Salty, so salty. Oh, it's like getting hit in the face with a wave. It's good. It's hard to say it's not good. It has like a nice jalapeno flavor. And if you love salt, you might want to go check with your doctor first. If you love it, I think it would taste delicious. Whether it would make your organs shrivel up, unknown. This is cream cheese. I feel like they gave it to me, so it's worth a shot. I don't think I paid for this, but that will just make it taste even better. Don't sleep on cream cheese with your pretzels. Yum! Cream cheese on your pretzel is what bagels wish they could be with cream cheese. I have never, ever had a bagel in my whole life. And I've eaten a lot of, a lot of bagels. I used to work in a real estate office and every day I became basically a bagel, a bagel queen. I've never had a good bagel. Let's normalize pretzels for breakfast with cream cheese. Far superior to bagels. All right, I'm going to pick my top six best items that you can order from Auntie Anne's, Annie Anne's, Annie Anne's, whatever. In the sixth place, I have to pick a dog even though I wouldn't personally order a dog, but their cheese pretzel dog I might eat it and not tell anyone about it. It is pretty good. In the fifth place We have the original pretzel. It really is beautifully Concocted coming in at number four is the cinnamon sugar It really does compete with a lot of items on the Cinnabon menu, but don't tell them I said it Don't tag them. All right We gotta come in with some of the ones that changed my life in number three I have the blue raspberry lemonade mixer. I can only make sounds to just Describe my love for this. In second place, a must order is the sweet almond pretzel. That pretzel I think has changed my life. And the best pretzel that you can get is the sour cream and onion. It is like the bottom of a sour cream and onion chip bag sprinkled on top of a delicious, bouncy, fluffy, warm, salty pretzel. It's just the most romantic thing you could ever buy for someone. Guys, what do you think about this series? I'm your test bestie for the resty and I'm open to more mall suggestions let me know your favorite place to eat at the mall and go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you're here and pray for me because I am going to go to the bathroom and lay down immediately if you never hear from me again you'll know it was worth it